Hi, my name is Larry Chen. I'm a dev on the Direct3D team. Today I'm here to talk about some of the presentation enhancements my team and I are currently working on in Windows 10. During the talk, I'll refer to terminologies like blip model, flip model, or direct flip. And if you're interested to learn more about them, please look for the presentation modes in Windows 10 video in the same Microsoft DirectX 12 and Graphics YouTube channel. What is presentation? It's essentially the process to get contents that are already rendered onto the display. And the enhancements we're talking about today are intended to support overlay scenarios in a performant manner and to reduce the cost in managing presentation complexity for the ecosystem, which includes ISVs, software vendors, IHVs, hardware vendors, and the OS. As you're likely aware, for an app running in full screen exclusive mode, we don't currently support compositing overlay UIs such as the system volume indicator or the game bar on top of it. So what we're working on to enable in Windows 10 is exactly that, the ability to compose UIs on top of an application running in full screen exclusive mode. And we will do so while maintaining most, if not all, of the full screen, full screen exclusive API behaviors, such as window resize, use of the exclusive mutex, and gamma functionality. And the other enhancement we're working on is blit to flip model presentation. In a nutshell, this boils down to taking an application utilizing blit model presentation and promoting that to flip model presentation in a seamless and performant manner. This is motivated largely by two factors. First, we want to take this opportunity to consolidate different presentation models such that the ecosystem can focus its resources on making flip model great. And second, Existing flip model optimizations such as direct flip and independent flip allow us to enable performance parity or improvement when compositing in full screen exclusive mode. Now that we have talked about the enhancements we're working on, let's take a look at the overview of the before and after, and we'll focus on presentation and transition characteristics with different window modes. For presentation, for a window application, flip model will generally be more performant since it can eliminate the copy operation from the back buffers to DWN's redirection surface. As for a borderless window application, the same benefits apply, but it can further benefit from flip model optimization such as direct flip and independent flip that we talked about before. Finally, for a full screen exclusive application, before and after should have very similar performance characteristics. For example, both models can support tearing for vSync off presents. As for transitions such as alt tab or window mode changes, while window applications should have very similar characteristics before and after, full screen exclusive applications actually stand to benefit from smoother transitions since we can more efficiently configure certain display properties such as scan out format. Okay. Now here comes the fun part, the demo. For the demo, we'll use the Unreal Engine 4 Infiltrator project to show the impact of the enhancements we've talked about so far on the application running in full screen exclusive mode. The demo will be broken down in two parts. First, we'll launch the demo as is in full screen exclusive mode without the enhancements and we'll monitor its overlay and frame time characteristics using PresentMon. As you can see right now, PresentMon is currently configured to monitor the demo app for a duration of 10 seconds and with a delay of 5 seconds. Let's go ahead and launch the app. For the second part, everything will remain the same except that the demo will, will launch with the enhancements applied. So the first thing we want to do to the demo app is to make sure that when we go full screen, you will go into full screen exclusive mode instead of borderless windowed. And you can't see my keyboard right now, but I'm actually trying to bring up the game bar. But as it was mentioned before, 
that's currently not supported for full screen exclusive mode without the enhancements. So including the delay, the entire duration of the demo will be about 15 seconds. All right, that should be enough. Let's go ahead and terminate the app. And you can see from the hardware legacy flip descriptor here that we're running with full screen exclusive mode without the enhancements applied. Now let's configure the app to run with the enhancements. and we will configure it similarly. So right off the bat, you can see that overlay UIs, like the game bar, can now be composed on top of an app in full screen exclusive mode. Again, it's going to be about 15 seconds in cooling the delay, so let's have the scenes run through. Alright, that should be good enough. And you can see from the Harvey Independent Flip descriptor that we're running in full screen exclusive mode with the enhancements applied. So we can now do a quick comparison of the frame time by bringing up the two Excel spreadsheets. And for the purpose of this comparison, we'll just look at the millisecond between percents and do an average of the time. So that's about 42.2 milliseconds without the enhancements, and about 42 milliseconds with the enhancements. Remember, the numbers we're comparing are the milliseconds between presents, so the demo with the enhancements is actually slightly faster in this case. Of course, each app will be a little different, but our experience has been that most apps have about the same full screen exclusive performance characteristics with and without the enhancements, but we get the benefit of the overlay UI composed on top of a full screen exclusive app. Hopefully you have enjoyed the demo. So what's next? As mentioned throughout the talk, these enhancements are something we're currently working on, so we'll still need to complete the relevant feature work and stabilize. It's also an app-by-app opt-in model for now, so we'll continue to validate and onboard additional applications. And of course, we'll continue to optimize the relevant performance and memory usage. Lastly, and certainly not least, we're also working to build customer feedback infrastructure so we can understand the quality of our customers' experience with these enhancements and make sure we improve based on what you tell us. Now, hopefully by the end of this talk, I've piqued your interest about these enhancements we're working on and you're interested to take them off for a spin yourself. If that's the case, please join the Windows Insider program and we will share updates soon on how you can participate. Thank you for watching.